welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make a sleepover frame tent for your kids next lumber party birthday celebration here we go or frame tents everywhere. Kids are not using it for slumber party, birthday parties, and oh my gosh, they look very easy to make, and guess what? They were, so let's get started with the video. All right guys, so this is what you're gonna need to make your frame tent. Um, you're gonna need four pieces of wood. These are called wood strips, and they were very inexpensive. They were only $1.97 for one. And over here, these are wood dowels, and they were a little over $2. And I'm going to be using three of them. Um, I also purchased this, um, how do you even call that? Hold on, I forgot. A spade bit. So um, I've never used one before. This one is a 716. So I'm very excited to do something different because as I said before, I get bored very easily. <laughs> so that's why I'm always doing all these things. So yeah, so I'm very excited to, to get started. And this is going to be pretty easy, guys. So let's just do it. Wait, 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 I almost forgot. <laughs> Let me give you some details because as you know, I never write you know, the supplies and things like that in the description box. I do write it right after my intros, but most people say it goes too fast. I get it, I understand. But I'm always like running behind and late, guys. So I kind of like don't really have time. I'm really like, never have time never <laughs> so these are from home depot and these right here are wood strips and they are 63 by half an inch and this over here are wood dowels and they are 48 by 7 16 okay so you're going to need four of these and three of these and the actual size of the tent the height of the tent is going to be less because i'm taking away six inches once i put everything together so it's going to be 57 by 48 all right so now let's get started for sure i'm going to start with the top of the tent so i am going to be marking six inches in from all of them. Now I'm going to turn these over and I'm going to drill the holes for the bottom and I'm going to make those two inches in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling and again, this is a 716 spade bit, okay? I'm gonna have to change drills. I don't think this one is strong enough. So I gotta get my husband's drill. This is kind of like a, I don't like to say girly one because we girls are strong. <laughs> so, but I need a more um, heavy duty one. So I'll be right back. And there it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Now I'm going to get the measurements I'm going to need to make the tent for my frame. So what I'm going to do is uh, bring it in an inch and a half. So here is an inch and a half, all right? And I already marked it. Let me make it a little darker so you can see. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now once you mark them half an inch on each side, you are going to measure within those lines because that's gonna be the size that you're going to need width-wise for your fabric. So the width of my dowel where the fabric needs to be is 45 inches. So I'm going to make my tent 45 inches by 114 inches. Why 114 inches? Because the length where the other hole is at the top is 55 inches, um, the height. So I'm gonna have to double that up to bring it down. And then I'm giving myself two in extra inches on each side, so I'm able to fold it into the dowel, okay? So it can hold it there and make the tent nice and tight, all right? So I'm just gonna show you. 
To make my tent, I'm using this beautiful cotton material from Jones Fabric. This is like a cream color with gold polka dots. Um, they're like tiny metallic gold polka dots. I love polka dots, guys. <laughs> uh, it's my favorite thing, to, even to wear. I wear it all the time. Um, anyway, um, this is four yards, and for a yard, it was $5 because it, it, it's actually $9.99, but I had a 50% coupon. Um, so the entire thing was 20 bucks. You can definitely get cheaper material at Walmart or, and even there at Jones Fabric. I just, you know, fell in love with this one. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Now I'm going to be folding a pocket at the end, at both ends actually. Okay, as so, which is where my dowel is going to go through. Okay, and it's going to be about an inch. And I'm only going to go ahead and glue it down with hot glue, so no sewing involved. the dowel in and out but if you happen to get stuck somewhere along the line just wiggle it around and it'll come undone okay and you can just glue the piece back on and that's it I'm gonna do the same on the other side next I'm going to be putting the top of the tent up Over, I ended up cutting a few strips there are six here which I am going to use to secure the tent okay I'm going to have three going down this way and three going down that way and all I'm going to do is poke a hole through the material and tie the strips to the wood I'm making the distance between strips 16 inches apart doesn't want to stay I either think I made the hole here too big it's not snug enough to hold it there or either it's too heavy but there's a solution for this <laughs> okay so if you run into this problem you can do two things you can grab an additional piece of wood another strip and hammer it to the back okay that will give you support or you can be like me because I don't like the extra labor and you can get extra material and you can tie it to the back. Okay, so you can just grab this extra material. What I did was just grab two strips together because it wasn't long enough. So I'm going to tie these to the back of it, to the back legs. And technically, you can hide these underneath the sleeping bag or whatever blankets you are going to use to decorate and make things comfortable. Um, the one in the back doesn't bother me, but the one in the front can totally be hidden. Okay guys, this is it. This is my frame sleepover camping tent and it is absolutely adorable. It is very easy to make, very affordable, and like I said earlier, uh, making it a little smaller <laughs> wouldn't hurt if you have smaller children, but if you have preteens or kids over six years old, this is a perfect size. And yeah, they are going to love it, boys and girls alike. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so right here, right now. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of my TP, aka frame tent. Let me know if you'll be making one for your 
you know what you don't even have to have them for birthday parties you can just have them in your living room for your kids to enjoy <laughs> um make sure to share 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 sharing is caring if you know of a friend or a family member that will enjoy this make sure to share with them at the end of this video all right guys until next time bye